Hello, how to solve 9 power t and this equals t power 2 for 3? We are solving for value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, we have a variable here, which is t, and we have another variable here. So what we can do is to move all the variables to one side, probably to the right hand side, and all the numbers will be in one particular side, which is this left hand side. So let's do that. That means we are going to eliminate this t. So we have 9 power t. And for us to eliminate it, we raise this to the power of 1 over t. And we do the same thing here. We have t power 2 for 3. And we raise it to the power of 1 over t. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of m equals a power n times m. So let's multiply this out and multiply this power out as well. We have 9 power t times 1, that is t over t equals t power 2 for 3 times 1, that is 2 for 3 divided by t. So from here, t cancels t, we are going to have 9 equals t power 2 for 3 divided by t. So from here, what we are going to do will be to also eliminate this 2 for 3. And we can achieve that by raising this to the power of 1 over 2 for 3. And we also raise this to the power of 1 over 2 for 3. So by doing that, we are going to multiply this out again using the same identity, a power n, all power m equals a power n times n. So we are going to have this is 9 power 1 over 2 for 3 equals t power 2 for 3 times 1. This is 2 for 3 divided by t times 2 for 3. This is 2 for 3 t. So from here, 2 for 3 eliminates 2 for 3. We are going to have 9 power 1 over 2 for 3 equals t power 1 over t. Of course, there is t here. So, if you observe, the t here is the same t we have here. But what we have here is 9, which is different from 2 for 3. So let's ensure that the base here is the same as the base here. And don't forget the ones that are the same at the numerators. So, for us to achieve that, we are going to make use of equivalent fractions. So we can express this as 9 power 1 times 1 over 2 for 3. And this equals t power 1 over t. And we can replace this one here with we have 1 is the same thing as writing 2 over 2 is the same thing as writing 3 over 3. Now we are going to make use of 3 over 3 because by making use of that, we are going to have the base and this one the same. So we are going to have 9 power 3 over 3, which is the same thing as 1, times 1 over 2, 4, 3. And this gives us t power 1 over t. So let's multiply this out. 3 times 1, that is 3. So we have 9 power 3 divided by 3 times 2, 4, 3. That is 7, 2, 9 equals t power 1 over t. So we can factor out this 3. I can have 9 power 3 times 1 over 2, 7 to 9. And this equals t power 1 over t. 
And don't forget, if you have a power n times m, this equals a power n or power m. So we apply the same thing here. We have 9 power 3. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 7 to 9. And this equals t power 1 over t. So from here we have 9 power 3. That is 9 times 9 times 9. And that will give you 7 to 9. 9 times 9 is 81, 81 times 9, that is 7 to 9. We have 7 to 9 power 1 over 7 to 9, and this equals t power 1 over t. So, if you have a power 1 over a, and this equals b power 1 over b, then your a equals b. I can decide to equate this. So A will equate B. So that is exactly the same thing we are going to do here. I can equate this. So I'm going to have 1 divided by 7 to 9 equals 1 divided by T. I cross multiply. I have T times 1. That is T and this equals 7 to 9 times 1. That is 7 to 9. So this becomes the value of t. Now the next thing will be to insert that value back into this particular equation. And let's check it's going to satisfy the equation. So I have check. I have t equals 7 to 9. So I have 9 power t equals t power 2, 4, 3. You substitute this for t. I have 9 power 7 to 9 equals 7 to 9 power 2, 43. So from here, I can have 9 power 7 to 9 equals 7 to 9 is just like writing 9 power 3. And this is raised to the power of 2, 4, 3. So we can multiply this exponent out. I'm going to have this is 9 power 7 to 9 equals 9 power 3 times 3, that is 9. 3 times 4, 12. We have 2 carry over 1. 3 times 2, 6, 6 plus 1. We have 7 to 9. So at the end, we are having 9 power 7 to 9 equals 9 power 7 to 9. So the both sides are the same. So that validates the solution. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.